now i am going to discuss the ranch resultant so whenever the resultant couple vector m is parallel to the resultant force r the resultant is called a ranch so when uh, whenever we find the resultant of a given vectors and the resultant couple vector and if both of these resultant and the resultant couple vectors are acting along the same line so then that kind of resultant is called wrench resultant right so then there are two kinds of wrench one is positive wrench and the other one is the negative wrench so if the couple and resultant are acting in the same direction so then that is called positive wrench and if they are acting in the opposite direction so then they are called negative wrench so a common example of positive wrench is found with the application of a screw driver right so whenever we are using a screw driver so the resultant force and the couple both are acting in the direction and the line of action of that force is towards the screw right so in uh, in whichever direction we are inserting the screw right so let's suppose if we have this plane and we are using the screw driver to tighten the screw in this plane right let's suppose if this is that screw so then the resultant will be into this uh, let's suppose if this is a wooden block right so then the resultant force will be perpendicular to this wooden block right and this will be the resultant and then there will be a moment right and the moment will have that same direction right and the direction of that moment will be like this so if we curl our right hand finger so our our thumb will also point in the direction of the screw right so in the direction of the resultant so in that case the resultant is a positive wrench right and it is also said that any general force system may be represented by a wrench applied along a unique line of actions let's suppose uh, let's suppose if we have this resultant and this resultant couple right so we can represent both of these as a wrench right and then uh wrench will be applied along a unique line of action right so how to transform this uh, resultant and this resultant couple into a wrench so this there is a procedure right so in this step in this figure a we have this uh, resultant and this uh, couple right so if i resolve this couple into its component right so then we will have these two components the one is m1 and the other one is m2 right and m1 is in this direction right that is parallel to the r vector the resultant vector and m2 is perpendicular to the r vector and now in this uh, figure c if we want to convert this moment into the couple forces right so we can replace this m2 by two resultant vectors right so then m this m2 can be replaced by these two resultants right so this will be one resultant which will be acting in the opposite direction to this r right and there will be one another resultant at some per perpendicular distance from this o right so we have replaced that m2 by these two r forces which are acting in the opposite direction so this is representing that couple yeah. to find this perpendicular distance of this resultant so we will use this equation right so then this will be r into d and this will be equal to m2 so then that perpendicular distance will be equal to d m2 divided by r right so we will know this component the magnitude of this and we will know the magnitude of the resultant so then we will be able to find the perpendicular distance of this resultant from this point o right so we will replace this m2 by these two forces which are producing that same couple right so then this resultant will cancel out this resultant and we will be left with this resultant at this particular line of action at some perpendicular distance from point o and since this m1 is a couple so since it's a free vector so we can place that free vector at the line of action of this resultant right so we can see that both this couple this m1 and this resultant are in the same direction right so then this means that this is a positive wrench right so we have replaced this uh, force couple system by a positive wrench right so we can replace any force couple system by a wrench resultant and as we can see that this this m and r are in this uh, blue plane right so this m and r are in this blue plane and as we can see that this wrench is in a plane which is perpendicular to that blue plane right so 
as we can see that if we transform a given resultant a given force couple system into a wrench so the line of action of the wrench will exist in a plane which is perpendicular to the plane made by r and m right so if if i draw that plane here right so that wrench is in this plane and this plane is perpendicular to this plane right so whenever we transform a force couple system into a wrench so that wrench the line of action of that wrench will be in a plane which will always be perpendicular to the plane found by this force couple system 